Clouds gave way to clearer skies this evening, just in time for the strawberry supermoon to make its appearance. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch with more on this astrophysical phenomenon and why one expert hopes the term super doesn't ruin your viewing experience. This, an event some plan their evenings around. I'm very excited. Ryan DiNardo, a lover of nature and all things outdoors, says he and his girlfriend plan to head to Westchester tonight and not miss a moment of the strawberry supermoon rising. I think it's probably worth watching, yeah. Uh -huh. Strawberry because? The time of year, maybe strawberries come out. I don't know. I have a smart man. June happens to be when strawberry picking season peaks in the Northeast. Super, because tonight's moon is full and near perigee, or its closest approach to Earth. A super moon shines 30% brighter and appears 17% bigger than the most dull full moon of the year. The word super, I think, is overused. Astrophysicist with the American Museum of Natural History, Dr. Jackie Faraday, hopes you don't get starry eyed when hearing the term super moon. I don't want your expectations to be like, I'm going to see something I don't usually get to see. Unless you're a very, very well trained um, moon watcher. And even in that case, you won't be able to tell the difference. Between tonight's strawberry supermoon rise and any other full moon rise, she says still it's worth the watch. Full moon. It's, I think it's the most underappreciated astrophysical phenomenon that you can observe. One great place to view from the Jersey side along the Hudson River. Then you can watch the moon climb above the skyline. But Dr. Faraday offers an even better idea. First, find a spot where you can see both the eastern and western horizons. Grab a cocktail, sit outside, maybe watch the sunset, have yourself a little lovely moment there, then turn around and look the other way. Sun sets in the northwest at 828. The strawberry supermoon rises in the southeast at 915. Have you sat outside to watch a supermoon rise over the city before? Not, not yet, and I've been living here for quite some time, so I probably should do it tonight. Perfect weather and the promise of a full moon rising. From Hoboken, New Jersey, Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. And the experts say to expect two more supermoons this year, one in July, one in August. The one on July 13th will be the closest full moon this year. So maybe we can run up to the roof of this building.